Hello YouTube, this is the sixth video in our JavaScript basics tutorial series. In this video we'll be talking about if else statements and conditional operators. Um, basically if you haven't heard of an if statement before, what it does is check if a condition is true and if that condition is met then it executes a block of code. Um, Basically, well, let me give you an example of what it would look like. So you have you write if, and JavaScript already knows that if is a keyword. Um, and then inside these parentheses, you write the condition. So the condition would go there. And then you have curly brackets after the parentheses and inside those curly brackets goes your code and you can have multiple lines of code um, some people place spaces in between their parentheses some people make new lines there um, this is actually incorrect because some browsers Mm, don't read this correctly, but um, even though it works in most of them, some of them automatically put a semicolon here like that. It assumes you forgot your semicolon and places one there, and then it's just, it like disconnects these two. It disconnects this from this. So you don't want to make a new line. Spaces are fine, but we're going to say no new lines, even though they work sometimes. So if this condition is met right here, um, which I'm going to show you how to write in a minute, then execute this block of code. So we're going to make two variables, a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 5. So we're going to check, what we want to do is check if A is equal to B. Actually, we'll make it 6 for now. We're going to check if A is equal to B. And then if A is equal to B, then we're going to say variables A and B are equal. And we check if they're equal to each other by doing this. Um, if a space double equals b. And this double equals is called a comparison operator. It compares a and b and sees if they're equal. Now, a has a value of 6, b has a value of 6. So this condition is going to be met. Therefore, this block of code or this line of code is going to execute. Now I can test that out and as we wanted it executed. Um, so if B was 5 then it will we don't want it to do that so it won't do that. Um, Now we will do else. Else is a um, it's the condition that it's in the case that a is not equal to b. So if a is equal to b, we want to execute this code. Else or otherwise, we want to execute this code. So we have these curly brackets. There's no parentheses because it assumes, because the else statement says otherwise. If none of the above conditions are met, or condition is met, um, then do this. It doesn't care when to do it, um, if that makes any sense. It, let's see, 
um, another way of saying that is you would use this statement to check if the code if a condition is true and you would use this condition this statement to check if a condition is false um, so if we run that a is not equal to B now we can change this back and since these are equal it will do that and ignore this because it only does this if this condition is not met all right um, so now let me show you some other comparison operators there's greater than which checks if a is greater than b um, there's less than which checks if a is less than b obviously and you can switch these around and that would essentially check if a was greater than b or b was less than a um, there is not equal to and we'll get into combining conditions in a, an advanced tutorial um, basically you can check if two conditions are true or one condition is true or the other condition is true um, that probably didn't make any sense but that's okay <laughs> um, so if a is not equal to b then it's going to say we want it to say a is not equal to b Okay, um, now we can do el if else. So um, we can add, we can basically add another if statement to this. So, sorry, else if. This makes sense if you say it out loud. Um, so if this condition's met, do this. Otherwise, if this condition is met, do this. Otherwise, do this. So, if A is greater than B, we say A is greater than B. If A is less than B, then we want to say a is less than B and then we can do this again if A is equal to B then well actually that's never gonna be the case um, if A is equal to B then we say A is equal to B and a is always going to be greater than, equal to, or less than B. There's no other possible scenario. So if we say 4, 4 is less than, A is less than B in this case, so we're going to get A is less than B. Now if we change that to 8, we get A is greater than B, specified here. If the first condition is met, then all of the ones after it are ignored. So if this one's met, this one's ignored. If this one's not met, it tries this one. And if that one's met, this one's ignored. This one and this one are not met, then it tries this one. Um, OK, I think that's about it for this tutorial. In the next one, we'll be going over functions, uh, which are kind of a complicated subject, but they shouldn't be too hard. Um, if you didn't get anything in this tutorial, I'll put a link to the if else uh, tutorial on W3 Schools. It's they explain it well, similarly to me, just not as <laughs> um, rambly. But I'll do that, and then. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you make a comment and I'll, I'll get back to you shortly.
that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.